Okay, guys, um, I'm going to walk you through um, changing your sloper into the cape. So I'm going to follow along with the instructions from the textbook. Um, and yeah, let's see how this goes. So first of all, our sloper is opened up and in the textbook, they're only using half of the sloper. So I'm going to change my sloper to just be half. Okay, so in order to do that, I'm going to select it. I'll right click and I'm going to remove the linked editing. Okay, I'll do that for both of them. Then I'm going to delete half of the pattern. Um, let's see, it looks like the center front, I want to delete the right half. So I would switch to the letter Z to give me my selection tool. You can see it highlighted up over here on the toolbar. And I'll just click and drag over the, um, the where's left, my right, I guess, and delete. Okay, and it should make a straight line between those solid black points, which it did, so that's great. Um, I'm gonna do the same thing to the back, but I'm gonna delete the opposite side. So I'm left with um, where's right side. Okay, so next thing your textbook does is that it moves your darts all to just the bottom waist dart. Cool. Okay, so let's see if we remember how to do that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and select the two dart legs. I'm gonna hold shift, right click, and rotate dart. We wanna rotate it to this point. Um, click on a side to rotate. Uh, I don't know if it totally matters. I guess I'll click this side and I'm going to rotate it shut. And then, yeah, I want the dart to come all the way up to the same point. So maybe like right there is good. Okay. Um, and this one actually is just one dart anyway, so we're okay there. So we don't have to worry about the side dart. Okay, so now we're good. So now the next thing is it wants us to line up our patterns so that they're like, one is, I guess, along the x-axis, and then the other center front is along the y-axis. So let's take cent the back pattern piece and select it and rotate it. You guys see how my cursor turned to the rotation wheel there? If I hold shift, does it do any? Yeah, if you hold shift, it kind of clicks that 90 degree angle. So that was pretty easy. Um, here's my front piece. My front piece, I don't have to rotate it because it's already aligned straight up and down along the y-axis. Okay, so it wants us to line up our shoulder tips together. It looks like it actually wants it like one inch apart, which I believe these little squares are one inch apart. So that's kind of helpful. Okay. Here we go. Um, okay. Next, it wants us to just draw a circular hem. Okay, so um, hmm. So how is the best way to do that in Clo? I'm sure there's more than one way we can do it. Um, hmm, trying to think here. I guess I could do a pattern piece. That might be the best thing to do. So I'm gonna act like I'm just drawing a new pattern. Okay, so that's going to be the letter uh, H tool. And I guess I'll click on that anchor point. Um, I'm gonna make sure it's a curve, so I'm gonna hit Command. I'm on a Mac, so it's the button by the space bar. I'm gonna click there. I guess I'll click here and maybe here. I guess I'm just clicking on all these points and then clicking there. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm gonna hit delete and not, um, I don't think I want my last curve to be a curve, my last point to be curved. I want it just straight. So I'm just gonna click one time. Okay, well there's the curve, but I need this as a pattern piece. So I'm gonna come straight up. Hmm, how should I do this? Should I trace it? Well, I guess we'll just trace it. Um, I'm gonna hit command. Kind of, and then I'm not hitting command for this last piece. I'm gonna go along my shoulder line. Let's see here. Mm, or should I, okay, no, I'm gonna go up here. <laughs> I'm just like doing this as I go, sorry. I'm gonna hold command, make this a curve, not make that a curve, come down and just finish it off. Cool, I have this huge pattern piece, right? Um, okay, so now what I want to do is draw two internal lines that are going to represent our shoulder seam, and it'll be a separating line here. 
Um, this would be easier if it was transparent and I could see through it. So I assume I can probably change that in my property editor. Let's find out. The pattern piece is selected, I can tell, because it's all yellow. And let's see if I can make this opaque. Mm -hmm. And I know I can. <laughs> Let's try selecting this one more time. Okay. Ah, okay, it's under the toggle menu, so it's not under object browser or property editor, so let's get rid of that. Okay, so to make this opaque and transparent, you can choose your toggle menu and they do have a translucent surface. There we go, so that way I can kind of see underneath it. I think that'll be helpful. Okay, so now I wanna draw my internal lines. Um, okay, so we'll hit, I believe it's the letter G. Yeah, G is the keyboard shortcut. Um, let's see here, I guess I could just draw a line straight like right this. And I'll hit return. Now, I want to make sure my internal line actually reaches the edges of the pattern outline. So I'm going to hit the letter Z, and I'm going to select my internal line. I'm going to right click, and I'm going to say extend, trim, and add point to pattern outline. Cool. Then, I believe I can right click it, and we can say cut. So this way we have two pattern pieces now. Okay, so I'm going to the letter A, kind of separate them a little bit. Um, oh, maybe I'll go back. Okay, I think I like it being on top of the sloper. Okay, so now we want to um, draw our, our shoulder seam. So, so maybe what I'll do is get the um, internal line tool again, letter G, and I'm just going to draw an internal line. I, um, I'm gonna hit command and then hit, there we go, and click it again. And I'm just gonna hit return to finish it. Let's see, boop. Or just maybe a double click. Okay, oops. Okay, a double click finished it. Um, okay, and then now I'm going to select that internal line with the letter Z and I'm gonna right click it and I'll just go ahead and also extend trim add point to pattern outline and then now I can use it to cut okay. and then I can hit the letter A and it'll select this piece and I don't need that pattern so instead I'll be happy with this um, okay I'm wondering if, well, nah, it's fine. Okay, so now we have to kind of do the same on the other side. So I'm gonna hit the letter G and draw my internal line. I'm gonna hold Command or just the button by the space bar to make sure it's a curve, kind of smooth it out. Um, double click to finish. Oops, oh, that was weird. Let me try that one more time. Click, holding Command, click, click. Okay, now I'm gonna hit the letter Z. I'm going to right click this internal line. We're going to extend to pattern outline. And then we're going to right click it and we're going to cut it. We'll hit the letter A to select the pattern piece. And we can delete that. Okay, so we don't really need our slopers anymore. I'm going to move it. And um, I guess I can delete them now that we have our new pattern pieces. Um, let's take a look at this. So they do need to be the same length because they're going to get sewn together. Um, so let's see what they are right now. And you know, I can take this little point, I'm gonna hit the letter Z and click this point. We can right click and we can just say convert to a curve point. That way we can click the line and it looks like it's 18.069. What about you? This, okay, let's make them both 18 inches. So I'm gonna right click, change length. I'll just type in 18. 
Mm, I think I want to change it. Yeah, okay. I don't really care. <laughs> right click and change length to 18. Okay. Um, alrighty. This guy, I think what I want to do now is actually take my back pattern piece. So I'm going to hit the letter A to select the pattern piece. And I want to rotate it the 90 degrees. And this is our back side. And so for our back, what we want to do is I think I'm just going to make this one big pattern piece. So I'm going to select the center back. So to select it, I hit the letter Z. And then I can right click and we can unfold it with symmetric editing and sewing. How is our neckline looking? Let's zoom in here. It's looking a little pointy, right? So I should probably fix that. Um, we can hit the letter Z and let's see here. Um, let's try edit curvature. I just want to kind of bring this up so it's a little bit straighter. Okay. Um, let's select with the letter A, the front piece. So the whole pattern selected. We can right click and we can uh, make this a symmetric pattern with sewing. Just kind of place it right next to it. Um, okay. So we want to sew it together. This side seam will be sewn to the front side seam. So we can get our sewing tool. Since I know they're the same length, the segment sewing tool should be really easy to use. Um, cool, and that's really it, just that one stitch. Okay, so let's change our fabric just back to, um, I guess the front texture surface. surface is fine. And we're ready to do a test fit on this guy and see if we like it or not. I'm also kind of concerned about this curve down here. I know we haven't even tried it on yet, but I would prefer if it was a little bit more straight because um, theirs kind of turned out straight. So I'm not sure what happened with me. So let's go back to that edit curve tool. Looks like I'm here. Um, letter C. Okay. I'll just bring it up a little bit. I just kind of want a 90 degree angle for a little bit. So it doesn't make a weird shape. I think we might be okay. I think we're ready for our test fit. So I'm going to open up the double screen. Maybe I actually only need the 3D screen really. Oopsies, I hit something funny. I hate when I do that. Oh, here we go. Okay. Um, let's only do 3D. Zoom out. Okay, hit the arrangement points. Give this guy a test fit. Ooh, it's really curvy. <laughs> Uh, I don't think that's gonna work. Let's not do the arrangement points. How about that? Um, okay. Cool. Okay. Mm, uh, I need to flip it around. Flip normal. Okay. That way the fabric's kind of flipped around. Okay, kind of put that up by her neck. I'm gonna hit number four. I'll probably bring this in a little bit more. Why am I having trouble selecting you? There it goes. Okay, I'm gonna hit eight. I'm gonna scooch it so it's kind of centered. Maybe I'll bring it down. I'm gonna hit four. Bring it a little bit closer to her. Okay, I'm gonna hit number two. I'm gonna grab the front pieces. I'm gonna try to align my front pieces a little bit better. Okay, we'll shift, grab them both, and scooch them over, bring it up. I'm gonna hit number four, probably bring it a little closer to her body. Okay, let's see if this is going to work or not. I'm gonna hit spacebar and simulate. Okay, that did not work.
<laughs> okay, Command Z. Oh, it's our sewing. Okay. I have the sewing wrong. What if I do this? Right click and flip normal. Nope, that didn't do it. Okay, so I just have to redo the sewing. No big deal, that was pretty easy to do anyways. So um, let's get my sewing edit tool. Click that guy, delete it, and click the segment one. Click you, and let's sew it to you. There we go. Okay, now let's try to simulate. Cool. Pause. I hit the space bar to kind of stop that. Um, maybe I kind of want to just sew the front closed for right now, just to see for fit. Okay, I'll simulate again by hitting the space bar. Okay, so now I can kind of just fit this cape on, see what I think. Hits. There we go. So there's any fit corrections I'd like to do. I can go ahead and do it. I just kind of like to make sure it's on her the right way. Be a little bit big in the back. Hmm. Okay. I mean, overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, there are some more option you options. You guys can design this as just one huge pattern piece, which means not sewing the side seams together, instead actually merging them together. You would just have to have a really big piece of fabric to pull that off in real life. Um, or you can do what I did and do um, sew up the side seams here. Um, you could also have a seam at the center back if you wanted. Um, the book talks about that if you do the side seams um, like I did here, um, on the arm, you have the option to add more curve if you wanted to. Um, in your pattern, you can just kind of extend the fullness of the side seam, bring it out a little bit more if you wanted to do that. Um, you know, I think I'm gonna change my model's pose so that she's standing straight. So I'm gonna go to avatar and I guess, let's try attention, number three. Say, okay. looks pretty good. 